What is this? Who is that? You are watching Japan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you never heard of ACTV before in your life? ACTV is very educative, informative, and there are football sports there. There is entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough like you've been fighting for food in your dream. Eh? That's really why you have F's in your courses like this. I, I have you last semester. E, we eat by pounds on you. Very stupid. Oh, yeah, change that section to SCTV right now. And oh, God, you know what you have to first born eh? Stupid boy. Good day, students. Um, it's quite a while, and um, I'm glad that we have an opportunity to meet again through this, the ACTV. Um, this course is MUS 112, as you all know, and um, it's all about African music and appreciation. Um, the last topic we took, we went into the categories of um, musical instruments in Africa. And um, we, if you can still recall, we talked about um, uh, the aerophones, um, the chordophones, the membranophones, and the idiophones. These are the four categories of musical instruments that we have in Africa. And um, we made mention of two other categories uh, that are very important. That's the lamellaphones and the anatophones. The lamellaphones um, are, are, are what, you know, from the Western perspective, are called, they are called the tom piano. Um, and I gave simple example, but um, we could not see few examples of that. So I have one lamella phone here. Um, generally, like I said, it's called tom piano. It's generally called tom piano from the Western perspective because the tom is engaged in playing of um, the, the plate, okay? If you can listen very well, you can hear the sound. It can both play melodic, it can be played melodiously as well as um, uh, or melodically and um, um, harmonically. Okay, having two uh, notes sounding together. In the Yoruba region, we are used to what is called agidigo. Okay, the agidigo is more or less like a box. It's quite bigger than this. This is common in, um, in, in some parts in Ghana and some other asp, um, areas in Africa. I have a few other instruments that I wish to show you here. Um, this is an instrument called Sakara. It's called Sakara. It's, a, it's um, categorized under, under the uh, membranophone. You can see the membrane, made of membrane, clay, and pegs all around it. It is also a form of um, a talking drum because it can be used to talk. In Africa. All right, you will, if you are conversant with uh, some of our traditional music, we have what is called Sakara music. Okay, that music derived, derived its name from this instrument called Sakara. All right, you are used, I'm very sure you are used to um, the talking drum. I have a, um, a, a small variant of the talking drum here, okay, which we know as gun gun, okay, placed under the armpit. There's also a variety of talking um, instrument. Like I said, it could be used to talk, and um, is used by quite a number of uh, popular musicians this day. Uh, the bigger one that is hung on the shoulder and um, played by the side. It's called the dundu. Okay, these are some of the instruments. And um, another instrument that you might not be so used to is here, the, and it's called the oja. This is the oja. It's a small variant of the oja. It's, uh, we have the bigger size, and it is common in the um, eastern part of Nigeria. Okay? You'll be familiar with the sound. 
probably in African films and some other ones, and it sounds does. <laughs> Okay, and we have a lot of vari varieties of musical instruments um, in Africa. Today, we shall be going into a new topic. And the topic for discussion or deliberation today is titled uh, Distribution of Musical Instruments in Africa. Distribution of Musical Instruments in Africa. As a way of introduction, we have the fact, it's a fact that Africa possesses varieties of musical instruments and these instruments are made of made up of varieties of natural materials um, I would like to bring you back to the fact that when we talk about Africa we're talking about indigenous uh, music of Africa so the instruments we're talking about here also are the indigenous musical instruments in Africa Good. So we're not talking about the modern Africa uh, that we live in today. Africa from the ancient time, you know, has varieties of musical instruments. And these musical instruments are made from natural materials. Um, from the last lesson, you will discover that some of these materials are made from uh, animal skin. They're made from wood, raw wood that... Uh, could be gotten from the African forest. They're made from animals on, you know, varieties of them. Then the third point that I would like to make is that African musical instruments are not evenly distributed. That is, the, there are some musical instruments that are not present in some regions in Africa. So that brings us to the topic of today that looking at what are responsible, what are the things that are, that are responsible for the distribution of these musical instruments. Here are, here are some examples of musical instruments, uh, as you can see from your screen. We have varieties of them. We have varieties of drums. Um, we have um, what looks like um, the, 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 the xylophone. We have what looks like the guitar. Um, they have their names and they're in different shades. So much distributed all over Africa. However, for better comprehension, we shall focus on Nigeria because Nigeria is a, a, an integral part of Africa. So we shall be dis discussing the distribution of uh, musical instruments in Nigeria representing Africa. Good. Here are still a few other instruments in Africa. We have the um, Ingelegu, we have, or some people call it Indelegu. Some other people call it Ikon, you know, from the Riverine area. We have the Dundu, just to show you the, the small variety of Dundu here. And um, we also have the Goje. You, you saw something close to this in the other lectures we, we once had. Um, the Goje is a codophonic instrument. And we have the alligator. Okay, these instruments are widely distributed. For example, the alligator that you're seeing on the screen right away is not is not a common instrument in the western part of Nigeria. It's not a common instrument. Um, uh, the goje is, is also not a common instrument in, in western or eastern eastern part of Nigeria. It's a cordophonic instrument. We have the dundun. The dundun is 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 not a com is not common in the eastern part of Nigeria. So we have all these instruments widely distributed all around. Now we shall be going to the factors responsible for the distribution of African musical instruments using Nigeria as a case study. Factor number one, we have the geographical location. The geographical location. The geographical location, we'll be talking about um, places where each community or if we have to use the modern um, um, division, each country is located in Africa. Geographical factor, or geographical factor in the distribution of musical instrument talks about different part of Africa, the northern part of Africa, the southern part of Africa, the western part and the eastern part, as well as the central part of Africa. If you look at me very well, and I'll still show that on the screen, 
I have on me the map of Africa. Okay? Africa with the map. You have different areas um, that um, the cardinal points of Africa. Certain countries, different communities are put together in certain areas. And we shall soon see that on the screen clearly. All right? These are the geographical division of, in Africa. We have the northern Africa, you know, up there. And we have the west Africa, you know, over there, as you can see on the screen. We have the central Africa, okay? And we have the, south, the southern Africa as well as the eastern Africa al al along the Horn of Africa, okay? Around the Horn of Africa is the eastern part of Africa. All right, the distribution of instruments basically in Africa, you know, follows this distribution. There are some instruments that will be found in the northern Africa that will not be found in the southern part of Africa. There are some instruments that will be found in the western Africa, part of Africa that will not be found in the eastern part of Africa. So geographic, geographically speaking, African musical instruments are distributed based on the geographical location. Like I said, Nigeria will be used as a case study. Um, we know the northern part of Nigeria, there are more of wind instruments. In the northern part of Nigeria, we have uh, the likes of kakaki, which are generally used in the Emir Palace, um, and that is not so common in the southern part of the country. So geographical division in Africa tells us the kind of instrument that can be found in certain areas. Um, in the southern part of the country, um, there are some instruments, such as instruments made from wood, okay? They are more, you know, they can be found more in the southern part of the country. And um, that will lead us to the second factor, okay? But the first thing is, geographically speaking, instruments are distributed, you know, variously because of the geography. The second factor is the regional factor, which is very close to the geographical factor, okay? The regional factor talks about um, the physical feature of certain areas, okay? But it is a little bit different from the geographical factor. For example, in the northern part of um, Africa, and using Nigeria as a case study, there are riverine areas, you know? In some parts, there are rivers in, in Saukoto, there are rivers in other places. The Arugungu, Arugungu Festival is, is towards the northern part of the nation. And so there are some instruments that, you, that can be found around the riverine area, uh, riverine areas that cannot be found in other areas that are not riverine. For example, um, instrument like the pot drum, you know, or, 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 or calabash drum are, are common around the riverine area, okay? Um, and they're not common in places where there are no rivers. Good. And um, due, to, due to the regional factor, for example, in the mountainous areas, there are instruments that are made from um, rock, you know, fallout of rocks, and they are turned to musical instruments. They are found around the mountainous areas, okay, and we have plain, plain landscaping, landscape, sorry. Um, there are some instruments that will be found around those areas, and they are not common in other places. Okay, this is an, uh, another important factor that, um, that tells us how the musical instruments in Africa are distributed. Point three, climatic factor. Climatic factor, all right? As a way of definition, climate is the long time atmospheric condition of a particular area, okay? Climate determines the culture of a people. Um, in different areas, such as food, clothing, shelter, manners, um, music, dance, and all sort of things. 
it equally determines musical instruments of a particular area. Climate plays a whole lot of factor in the instrument that will be found in a particular area. Because when the climate is not supportive, is not in support of a material that is used for the instrument, such instrument cannot be found in that area. So climate plays a whole lot of um, factor in, 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 in revealing the kind of instrument that will be found in a particular area. For, um, and another important example, for example, why we have more of wood, um, um, wind instruments, particularly made of, um, of, of um, metal, like the kakaki in the northern part of Africa, is the fact that it's an arid region, dry region. Now, instruments that are made of wood can easily get dried in such regions. Okay? So, instruments made of metal will be found more. Um, nonetheless, it's, it's, it's not out of place that some wooden instruments will not be found in such areas. It's only the fact that um, there will be minimal of such instruments in such areas. But there will be more of instruments that can be preserved by the climate in such region. Okay? So the climate has a whole lot of contribution in the type of instrument that will be found in specific areas. Good. All right. We shall be going to the uh, fourth um, factor, and that is the cultural factor. The cultural factor. Um, culture, simply put, is the way of life of a particular set of people. The way of life, the way of living, eating ways, greetings, Free feeding, dressing, way of life of a particular set of people. So, culture plays an important role in determining the kind of instrument that will be found in a particular area. The way of living of a people determines um, the availability of musical instruments among the people. The belief of the people, what the people has been accustomed to, or what the people have been accustomed to as a way of life determines um, the kind of musical instruments that are found among the people. I'll, I'll give a good example. Among uh, the hunters uh, in the southern part of Nigeria, uh, more particularly in the southwestern part of Nigeria. Southwestern part of Nigeria has a whole lot of forest, so there are hunters that walk you know, with the game, work in the game. Uh, instrument like ukwe is a wind instrument are used commonly by, 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 by uh, the, 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 the hunters when they're in the exped expedition of looking for a hunt. Okay? Hunters call themselves while in, you know, in, in the expedition or expedition, they call themselves with the instrument. And that in, in, informs us when the hunters uh, are celebrating, um, you know, their rights, okay? Um, their own style of music, you know, follows, um, you know, what has been detected by the culture of the people. So cultural factor is an important factor that determines the kind of instruments that are found among the people. Like um, among the Southwesterners in Nigeria, we have the drum. And one factor that is so prevalent, and one factor that informs that is the fact that uh, the, drum, the drum, for example, is usually made of animal skin as well as um, wood that is gotten from the forest. So this, this factor determine the kind of instrument that are found in such area, okay? And um, the, you discover that the culture of the people, you know, is all around, you know, what is found around them. So also the musical instrument that are found um, among the people. And the last factor we're going to discuss today is the occupational factor. The occupational factor. People are occupied with different activities 
in different regions, okay? Regions where there are um, uh, um, 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 forests, there are forests, people are occupied with farming, okay? People are occupied um, uh, with hunting, okay? We have um, areas where there are rivers, there are, whole, there, there are a whole lot of waters. Um, people are occupied with fishing, okay? Uh, we have the goldsmith in some particular areas, okay? Now, we're not saying, I'm not saying that we can't have mixed um, occupation in different areas, but I'm, I'm talking about predominant occupation, okay? So, so these occupation determine, these occupations determine musical instruments sometimes found in some African community. Um, for example, um, um, we have the, the, the xylophone found in Nigeria, for example, of different types. The xylophone that are found in the northern part of Nigeria has or have the resonators made of uh, cow horns. And why do you have cow horns so predominant in the northern part as resonators for um, um, the xylophones? Is because um, the people are engaged in cow rearing, uh, the nomadic occupation, um, the nomads are, are busy, you know, with the rearing of their cows. And so products from the cow is, one of the products from the cows are the horns. And they are useful for them in making their own xylophones. Whereas xylophones that are made from the southern part of the country, for example, the, um, the, the southwestern part, which, which occupies more of the Igbo people, and we have the south, southern part of the country, which occupies um, ethnic, ethnic groups like um, the Econ, the, 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 sorry, the, the, the Ibibios, uh, the Ijaws. They also have, and so on, they also have their own xylophone that whose resonators are made of uh, gods. It's an example of the Ingelegu or the Econ that was seen um, at the beginning of this lecture. So occupation determines the kind of instruments that are found in certain region in Africa. Good. All right. Now, as the lecture comes to an end, I have a, the conclusion is this. African musical instruments are distributed variously according to different factors like it's been said these factors include but are not limited to the geographical factor the regional factor the climatic factor the cultural factor and the occupational factor these factors are important when we think of the distribution of musical instruments in africa and that brings us so the uniqueness of instrument, varieties of instruments in Africa. Everything an African finds in his or her environment, music is you know, produced from whatever that is found. Music is, is unique and is produced from whatever that could be found in the society. Okay? Um, like some of the instruments we saw at the beginning of the lecture, um, such as the alligator. Alligator is found, uh, 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 you know, in the middle part of Nigeria, um, especially among the Tiv, the Tiv um, ethnic group. Okay, it's the alligator is a woodwind instrument. Okay, and this is specifically found around, you know, the middle part, Benue area as a state that occupies the TIV, T-I-V. We have this found around that. We have the goje, uh, is a codophonic instrument that is played more in the northern part of Nigeria. Northern part of Nigeria. Oh, if I made a mistake of alligator, I'm talking about Nigeria now, okay? Then the dundu. The dundu is, um, is generally known as the talking drum. It's a membranophonic instrument. Okay, and is commonly found among the Yoruba people in the southwestern part of uh, Nigeria. 
and um, finally the in in in, in Gelegu or in Delegu, um, as as called by different um, ethnic group among the South Eastern people in Nigeria, among the Igbo people, we have it as Ikon, Ikon among the um, Ibibio, or you know, it, like I said, I I mentioned the other time that the resonators have, are made up of gods, and this same. Um, instrument that is found in the northern part of the country. The resonators are made of cow horns. Okay, and the factors that we have discussed tells us the reasons for all this distribution. Okay, and before this lecture is ended, I'd like to give an assignment for the class, which I would like you to submit to uh, the WhatsApp um, line. You're going to identify for me five musical instruments each from, from the geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Five musical instruments each from the geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Good. So, you submit your answers to the WhatsApp platform of the class and um, soon you will get your results. I hope today's class has been interesting, educative, and informative. I wish to um, enjoy you. Please keep safe. While keeping safe, follow the rules of, um, of prevention of COVID-19 around this period. And um, I pray that we'll see ourselves again, you know, having to play our music again for our community. Keep safe and keep growing. Bye for now. Thank you. Finish him. the guy now. Round the corner. Get him. What? What is this? Good day, sir. You are watching Jatepan in my house. Who is King Kong, sir? Eh? King Kong. You, you've never heard of ACTV before in your life. ACTV is very educative, informative, and there is the football sport there. There is the entertainment. There are a lot of things you can You can even attend lectures here. All you know is watch all those nonsense artists and do, do nonsense or uh, you watch nonsense on TV. Eh? Last night you almost came in bed with your fist. It's not me, sir. Eh? You, and you wake up every morning, the bed will be so rough, like you've been fighting for food your dream. Eh? That's really why you have F's in your course. like but I have, for you. I have last semester. E, we eat five pounds for you. Very stupid. We are changing that session to ACTV right now. And oh, but the baby was too happy for us, boy. Stupid boy.